everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make basmati rice, which is uh, a long grain white rice in the instant pot and so that it doesn't stick. A lot of times it'll stick to the bottom of the pot and it's kind of gets clumpy and all of that. So hopefully we can avoid that and you can make a nice delicious rice that goes with so many different things. I'm gonna be using chicken broth instead of water. I like to flavor my rice, even if it's just plain white rice, just a little bit to give it some interest. So I'm Rockin' Robin. I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, so let's start off with our chef joke. This is number one. Number two will be a little bit later. So how do you tame wild rice with a very small saddle. All right, so we'll take our basmati rice. I'm gonna make one cup and we're gonna place it in the Instant Pot. Now, I'm gonna fill this up with water. Well, not fill the whole pot, but just enough to cover the rice and we're gonna swirl it around. As you swirl the water around, you'll notice that the water becomes sort of milky looking, and that's what you want to see. You're releasing the starch. So drain out the water in, through a strainer, and then repeat the process. Go ahead and fill it back up, and then swirl it around, and drain it one more time. What I love about cooking this rice in the Instant Pot is it only takes six minutes to cook. Now we're going to add an equal, at least an equal amount of liquid as you have rice, okay? So I used one cup of rice. You want to use at least one cup of liquid. If you use one cup of liquid, then your rice is going to turn out to be um, a little more al dente, if you will. So I'm using a cup and a quarter. And I'm going to pour the, the chicken broth around the sides just so I can get all of the rice covered. Now if there's some sticking up there, I'm going to just push it down. You want to swirl a little bit so that the rice is underneath the liquid. I'm going to add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt because I, I like a little bit of salt in my rice. And I'm going to add about almost a tablespoon of oil. Since I added the salt to that, I'm going to stir this up. And again, make sure that the rice is evenly distributed on the bottom of the pan and not piled up in one area. So just like I said, give it a little swirl and then we'll place it in the Instant Pot. Feel free to add any other, you know, spices or things that you like to your rice or just keep it simple. Put the lid on, seal your vent there and we're going to cook this for six minutes on high and uh, we're going to do a natural release at the end of about 10 minutes, which means that we're not going to force the vent open. We're gonna let it just sit and do its own thing. It won't totally be vented, so at the end you're gonna to have to manually do it to force the rest of it out so that it's safe to open. All right, our rice is cooking, so let's get to chef joke number two. What do you get when you have fish and rice in a shoe? Shushi. All right, so the Instant Pot went over a little bit. It's been 14 minutes instead of 11, but We'll see what happens. I'm gonna do a quicker release now. Get the rest of the, it's almost done. Yeah, it is. Okay, we got a full release. So if I just, you know, scrape it up, it did not stick to the bottom of the pot, as you can see there. You wanna fluff it up. It's sticking together a little bit, but not bad, let me tell you. It's nice and tender, I can tell by the way it feels. It's a little bit of yellow color to it because of the chicken broth. You can use plain water if you like, or you can use a vegetable broth or, you know, like I said, just plain water. Now you do have to be careful when you're adding chicken broth, depending on how much salt is in your chicken broth. Mine was low sodium, so I used three quarters of a teaspoon, and you know, you might want to play with a, maybe a half a teaspoon. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. You can take a little bit of parsley or cilantro if you want to, basil and chop that up and sprinkle it on top if you like. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in and stir it up. And you don't have to add it if you don't want to. Sometimes I've added um, lime juice, just a little spritz. The rice turned out nice and fluffy and it tastes 
really delicious. It was nicely seasoned with the chicken broth. So if you want to try a great recipe to go with this basmati rice, try this honey chicken. It is so delicious. You will love it. Click the link right there on the screen. We'll see you next time.